Tonight is September the 7th, 2019. I'm going to make a video here on uh, the old A-Static D104 microphone elements. I happen to have uh, three, four, five, six, nine of them. And uh, <clears throat> I've been doing some experiments today and I actually bought one of the electric type uh, uh, condenser mics to replace it. Here's what I bought. I'm not to advertise them for this gentleman. I just bought it off of eBay. And uh, he shows how to wire it to everything except uh, the old boat anchor stuff. Like, see, there's the wiring of the uh, ecstatic uh, microphone stand and everything like that. So I had to figure it out myself, and I didn't see another video showing how to do this, so I thought I'd make one. Because these microphones are, are still pretty popular, you know. See, here's, here's the one that I'm using right here. It's beauty. See, it's got a black head for some reason. Uh, and I've got uh, several other heads. This one, t t people tell me it sounds marvelous. I've actually had this stand. This stand was bought for me when I was 13 years old. Actually, at this time of a year. It was right before school started in uh, 1963. I would be in the 8th grade. That was a while back. But anyway, still same one. Works great. I've had several different uh, elements up here. Anyway, let's move on quickly. What I did is uh, I wanted to evaluate all of these, uh, all of these. Here's two, here's some older style. Uh, I've got several heads. This one, um, I used to use this one in my car. I've got a stand down here somewhere, I don't know where it is. I used this in my car and I, I clipped it on there. Even if one of the boxes, one of them came $15 back in, $15 back in the day, that's kind of pricey. Anywho, here's a, another one. This one actually works uh, pretty good. Uh, what I did <clears throat> is I wanted to be able to evaluate them uh, all the same instead of just yelling or whistling or sending a CQ, you know. So what I did is I hooked up uh, the, uh, let me get the camera right here. I'm trying not to uh, to uh, hold my camera like I used to. Maybe I can do a better job like this. Hooked it up to my oscillator. You'll be able to hear it. I turned it up. I assume you can hear that. And then I took my uh, uh, meter right here and I put it down there and measured it. And that's on the uh, 90 dB scale. This is at uh, 300 hertz. And see, that's, uh, that's about 90 dB, so it's actually fairly loud. That's probably about how loud it is when you've got a microphone, you know, right up to your mouth and, and, and you're speaking into it uh, in, in full volume, you know, especially if you're kind of excited. You probably got an 80 to 90 dB uh, SPL. So anyway, so that's what I did. And I said, okay, that's reasonable. And then I started... Um, uh, measuring the microphones uh, actually I was measuring the the, uh, the voltage that was coming out of them with uh, let, me, let me show you here excuse me for bumping the camera around a little bit though I actually got into uh, measuring the voltage coming out right there AC voltage I found out one thing for sure the age of these microphones um, makes the uh, makes the frequency response of them uh, all very, very different. Okay, so anyway, I hooked up the, uh, what I did is I hooked up the output here to each microphone and went through it. I'm not going to do all of this for you again. This is pretty boring and it's long and time consuming, but I measured every one of them. And like I said, I also found out that someone would uh, put out quite a bit of voltage, as much as 200 millivolts at certain frequencies, but uh, they're they're all so uh, entirely different as far as uh, frequency response goes. It was actually hard to measure them that way. And of course, I could vary the tone. I measured it at a kilohertz. I know you can hear all of that. Let's turn it down. Because we're not going to do that. I was just showing you one of my approaches. Okay. Uh, then I got a simpler approach that actually works even better. This is just a little uh, little amplifier. And uh, I just started clipping it on and talking into them. I found some that were absolutely dead. 
uh, one, of, one of these is completely dead. I'll show you basically what I did here is I just took uh, a couple of clips and uh, you could do it with whatever little amplifier you might have however you want to hook it up. I'm probably going to actually cause more questions than answers here but let's hook this one up just just connect it across the input to a little amplifier. Hello, one, two, three, four. See how tinny that sounds? You can hear it. I mean, it's, it is actually amplified, actually even wanting to feed back. And then uh, let's try this one. Hello, testing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That one sounds a whole lot better, doesn't it? Well, anyway, I went through them and I found some that were absolutely dead. And um, I'm gonna throw them in the trash can after uh, I complete these. Hello, one, two, three, four. See, that was dead. This one I think still works a little bit. So, you know, just a, a quick and. Hello, one, two, three. Hello. You see the point. Okay. Now the real point of this whole video is, is uh, this nice little uh, electric. See, it tells you out here exactly what it is. It says, this is an FET amplified electric element. Please see the wiring below. Okay, well they don't, they show you how to wire it to ICOM, Kenwood, Yezu, all this. Well, they don't show you how to wire it to the old boat anchor Collins equipment. I used Collins S-Line and, and a KWM 2A and, you know, they work great with um, uh, ceramic crystal microphones or dynamic microphones. Unfortunately, I have found out that really super high quality uh, Hi-Fi type microphones oftentimes don't don't work all that great because they've got too too much low frequency in them. Okay, so what is the answer? Well, first of all, it's actually not very complicated. I'm going to turn the camera around, and and well, I can do it like this. I think I just I'm trying to uh, not uh, uh, jar the camera around any more than is necessary. Let's see, we got to monster glare there, don't we? Okay, well, maybe, maybe you can see that. I think you can. Well, it's just about that simple. Here's the microphone. And uh, it came with a 10K resistor. Uh, let me kind of start all over here. Because I think it's, sometimes I think it's easier to actually see something as it's being drawn. It is, it is, uh, polarity sensitive so you do have to get your battery put in there correctly but you put a, a, a like a 10k resistor that's what I'm using we call this with we call this a plus and minus of course minus is grounded also and then we put a, uh, a battery in here uh, let's throw the battery down like this and it's grounded however you want to draw it. And you can see now that we've got this is our condenser electric microphone. It's got the FET built into it. You have to have a battery. I'm using a 9 volt. I'm sure you need a better marker there, don't I? 9 volt. 9 volt battery. And this is 10K. And then off of there you have to come off with a capacitor. You can use just about anything you want, I believe. Probably something like a 0 0.01, 10 nanofarads. And uh, here's the output. It works great. Now, you, depending on your own uh, needs, you very well may want to put this uh, across a, a, a pot. And then you could have a, an adjustable output. Output, audio output, and it, and it really works. That's really all there is to it. Now, uh, I, I'm not going to modify this uh, this A-Static stand because, uh, well, I want to leave it like it is. I want to be able to use the uh, the old uh, crystal ceramic elements as they are. So I've ordered another one. Now, if you look at the schematics of these stands, there are an extra set of contacts in there. So actually what you could do is put the, another set of contacts wherever you want. You can put them right here so that when you when you when you squeeze the microphone you actually turn it on and of course you got another set of contacts down here 
before your, uh, you know, your, your push to talk, PT2. So you would turn the microphone on and off so that you're not draining it all the time. If you do the math, 9 volts across 10K, assuming this is zero, that's 0.9 milliamps. So I don't know how long a 9 volt battery would last, but it'd be kind of silly to leave it on all the time with an extra set of contacts. You'll have to figure all this out. Like I say, I'm, th this is not a uh, an absolute uh, cookie cutter, do it this way, and uh, it'll uh, solve your particular problems. But it's very easy, and I'm going to hook that thing up for you and show you exactly what I'm talking about and, and how it works. Let's get the camera back over here again. Point it down at the desk. Get a little bit more light on it. Okay, we don't need... You don't need these headphones anymore. By the way, I don't know what kind of headphones you like. The reason I bought these, I really like these guys because they've got an open back. When I'm wearing these things, they're over the ear. You know, there's over the ear, there's in the ear, there's on the ear. You know, the ones that just kind of perch on your ear. I like to be able to hear what's going on, and these are open in the back. So even with these things on, I can still actually hear what's going on in the room uh, perfectly well. And uh, I like them. Okay, so what we're going to do is just hook this guy up. Uh, it, this is it right here. I think I've already got it hooked up, but I'm going to show you how I go about this procedure. I think you will like this. And um, I happen to know that um, this one is positive and this one is negative but in the way that I wired it. And I wired it per his instructions. Of course, without the battery in it, it does not work. So, you take the battery. Um, I'm using red for positive. Let's get everything out of the way that we can. And uh, we're going to run it through the 10K resistor. And we're going to hook it to the positive side. Just like that. And then the negative side of the battery, which is going to be ground, of course, hooks to the other side. So it's actually working now. We, we've actually wired the microphone so that it's working. But now we have to get the audio off of it. So the way we get the audio off of it is, is you need a blocking capacitor. And you put it right across the microphone again, which would be, that'd be one point. And the, uh, the ground would be... Uh, Well, let's keep it red. I think I did that on purpose for all the other so we can actually follow this out. Here's our positive side. And we put our positive side to uh, the capacitor. And then we're going to hook it. Well, I'm changing colors on here again. We're going to hook it to the to the positive side of our, of our little uh, amplifier. And the negative side is probably going to start squealing. The negative side goes right back to uh, the negative side of everything. You can see there's a lot of amplification there. So, um, trying to resurrect and, and save all these old elements, yeah, I, I see how hopeless, how hopeless it is. But, like I said, but just with a little amplifier, you can start hooking them up, talking into it. You'll find the ones that are dead. You'll find the ones that are very high pitched. You'll see some, as you've already seen in my video here, some are actually sound pretty good. And people say they sound good. So that's the way you can evaluate uh, these guys if you have them or if you buy some. And you can keep the ones you like, throw away the ones you don't like. By the way, this one right here, I tried to repair it. I noticed that, um, that the diaphragm had come loose from the little... Uh, ceramic or crystal element in there so I tried to keep its shape I uh, put um, e epoxy I, I epoxied the diaphragm back on then I epoxied the diaphragm to the uh, the little crystal element in there and it like I say it does work I mean you can see how well this thing works it is it is going to be great and I'm going to put the battery in in the second stand that I have and like I say use the contacts to turn it on and off so I, I think it's going to turn out very nice. But, uh, well, you've actually already seen me try to make this one work. And it does work kind of tinny. 
And uh, out of all of the ones that I have, two, four, six, uh, another one or seven, okay, actually I got nine. One in the basement. This one doesn't work very well. I've got two that work pretty good. And the rest of them are mostly junk. But this little microphone, I, I think, is very promising. And, the, and again, the point of this video is, is this is something you, you need to figure out. See, it's that little square microphone. If you look on, uh, on eBay, you, you've probably seen this stuff a bunch of times by this good gentleman here, W2ENY. I think I'm going to be very pleased with it. It's an amplified bike. Yeah, here's the diagram. We're not going to really get into this because it's kind of complicated. But you see, there there are two sets of contacts in there, and uh, I'm going to use one of them to, as I, uh, I squeeze the uh, microphone for the PTT. I'm going to have that turn the microphone on and off. I think it's, I think it's going to be great. Probably even put a little uh, volume control in there too. So I hope this helps uh, resurrect and some of the old D104 microphones and. Um, Make them work again, and especially uh, for the uh, for the boat anchor guys. You know, when, when you read the instructions here, like I say, I've already shown this. I believe it shows it for all of the the popular ones. And uh, see, a lot of them already have uh, a voltage, and they just add the the resistor in there. Got to have a current limiting resistor, I'm sure. Well, I like the old D104. I just think they're just about the, I just think they're just about the prettiest microphone ever made. <laughs> and uh, I think the ones that I hear out there that are just absolutely marvelous sounding are the uh, Heil microphones. I'm really impressed with them too. But for a few bucks and a little bit of, uh, you know, you can. There's enough room under here to put the battery. And uh, it'll work. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Uh, if if you got, you guys have probably got as much or more experience with this than I already than I have right here. But I just had to show this because I'm I'm sure it'll help somebody that hasn't done it yet. And uh, there may be some of you guys that have uh, have a whole lot more experience with this. And if you do, please share it so that uh, you know we get the maximum return out of our effort here. Stay safe.